722 now and around town we are exploring the Olentangy Caverns mm -hmm. this morning. Cameron Fontana is in Delaware getting a closer look. Hey Cam. Yup, well I hope you guys are ready for an adventure this morning because we're about to go underground, but before we do, we're going to talk to Katie a little bit about the history. How you doing, Katie? Good, how are you? Good, so how long have these caverns been here below us? Well, they formed about 50 million years ago, Okay. Um, but we opened them up in 1934 to the public. Nice, tour. so you offer the tours, and in here you kind of get a preview and a glimpse of the things that you find down there, right? Yes. What are these on the table? Yep, so these are some arrowheads. Some of them we actually did find in the caverns. Um, some of them are collections that we have um, found over the years. Wow, and what types of tribes were native to this area of the country? We believe that the Wyandotte Indian tribe was here and they actually did inhabit the caverns. They so Wyandotte Lake, I'm yes. putting two and two yes. together. Yes, yes, yes. light bulb. And then even with Chief Leatherlips, right? Yes, Chief Leatherlips was here um, and there's a big monument to him in Dublin as well. Nice, and there is something, we did get a preview, we're gonna see something downstairs mm -hmm. that looks a little bit like him. So how can people come out here? Tomorrow's opening day, right? Yes, tomorrow's opening day, we are open daily from 9.30 to 6. Okay. Right now we're doing self-guided tours, um, so you can actually spend as much time in the caverns as you'd like. No way. We have stations where you press a button, the speakers play, and you just wander at your leisure. And what days can people come out? We are open every single day. Seven days a week? Seven Days starting week, tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. And what's the website? Should people want to, you know, schedule a tour or give you guys a call? Absolutely. OlantangiIndianCaverns.com or you can like us on Facebook and see what we promote. All right. Well, there's a reason why we have these jackets on. I got my shorts on today because coming up next, we are taking you on a tour, on an adventure, down in the caverns. 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 <laughs> so we'll see you soon. So around town this morning, we are heading underground to explore the Olentangy Cavern. Cameron Fontana, he is in Delaware. Check it out. Out. Hey Cam. Well, we are making our way underground, getting deeper and deeper. So this is the first level, right, Katie, of these caverns? Yep, we are about 55 feet below ground right now. So talk about what are we seeing right now? Because I see some brick, but then I see natural stone. Yep, so this is the um, natural entrance of the caverns. Obviously, we have some brick that we had to lay for our museum. Yeah. Um, but we have Columbus white limestone as well as Delaware blue limestone that naturally occurs here. And what's amazing to think is, and I'm so glad it actually rained today, because you really are getting that ambience and how these were formed. Yes. Really, water was the main way that you got the shapes? Yes, absolutely. So 50 million years ago, we believe the caverns started forming because the water runs through the earth, and then it, it uh, hollows out these caverns. Wow, and what a cool shot. You look down here, down the steps, and you go down here. How deep do these potentially get? Um, they go as deep as 105 feet from where we can get, but yeah. beyond that, honestly, we don't even know. You just more to explore. More to explore. And when the Indians came down here, I mean, what were the purposes? What did they do down here? Yep, so the caverns would come down here um, to live, but also to get away from their enemies. Okay. Um, we think that they would come down in probably ropes. They would tie down and swing down or fall in branches. They would they would get down in here that way. They That's didn't have amazing. these stairs. Obviously. Right, they didn't have the stairs. Yeah, they stairs didn't have the stairs. Or the lights. Yeah. yeah. And if people want to come out here, how long does a tour normally take to get through all of it? Uh, how much time should they set aside? It'll be about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Um, right now we're doing self-guided tours, so you can take as much or as little time as you'd like. We have some stations that you press a button. It'll play all of the um, the artifact, the facts for you to listen to. Nice. Um, and you can basically just wander through the cavern. Well, if someone wants to personally ask for Katie, will you? I that will. Something? I will give because we tour. like your voice on television. I will give the tour. <laughs> so coming up next, we're going to go down even deeper into these caverns and show you some really cool facts and historic elements that you are going to enjoy. So more is coming up on Good Day Columbus after the break. Would you like to lead the way, Edwin? Go for it. All right, it is a, uh, it's kind of a warm and wet morning out there, and that's got Cameron Fontana longing to spend some time underground. He is checking out the winding passage, passageways of Olentangy Caverns. It's Friday. It's I, Friday. Good <laughs> morning, Cam. Yeah, you know what? No better way to start your weekend than an adventure through some caverns up here at the Olentangy Indian Caverns. We're back with Katie. Now, watch your head, Edwin. I know it's very tight. <laughs> it Let's tight. walk through here because how much is there to see and what are we seeing right now? So right now, um, we are in echo chamber because when it's dry in the caverns, you can hear your voice echoing throughout the entire cave. Wow. Um, we have this natural formation that just happens to look like an arrowhead. So you guys didn't make that? We did not make this. This naturally occurred. And earlier we mentioned Chief Leather, Chief Leather Lips. Yes. and the statue over in Dublin. Yes. 
but you guys have your own. We have our own naturally oh, occurring chief leather lips. I love that. So let's continue to walk because what amazes me, and we mentioned before, um, were how all these formations came to be over yes. time. You said 50 million years. Yes, 50 million years ago, we believe the caverns started forming, and it's because, as you can see on this super rainy day, um, yeah. the water flows through the earth, and it forms out these pathways. Um, and it This also, is the coolest part. Yes, I love this. This is super cool. So this is called a honeycomb stalactite. Um, and it's Say that the, again for all the people that like it. Honeycomb stalactite. Honeycomb stalactite. I like Yes. That. And we believe it's one of the largest in Ohio. Um, we also have these really cool soda straws. So they're dangling from the ceiling, and they're formed at about one inch every 50 years. It takes 50 years, one inch. Yes. <gasps> yes. And the water drops down. Um, the minerals deposit themselves, and it just keeps dragging down to create this really cool straw. I had no idea. So the water is continuing to pull. I mean, you said the lower ones here, when people touch them, the oils on their hands completely ruin it. Yes. So it could be 40 years in the making. And then it's broken. And a little yeah. Tommy touched it, and you're like, no! <laughs> So neat. And when people come here, I mean, people taking pictures, I can imagine this, mm -hmm. their eyes just light up. Yep, it's super fun. Um, people take pictures. Um, they can go on a tour. They can spend as much time as they would like. Cool. So coming up next, I think we're going to see a big rock called The Rock with many names. Is that yes. right? Yes. And hopefully, uh, we don't think of a new name for it because we'll tell you how it got its name. It might have to do with bumping into it, guys. So we'll see you soon. Let's go, Katie. All right. All right, let's give it to uh, Cameron. Yes. Right? Cameron, he's in some caves. <laughs> let's check in with him. So make he's, sure he's okay. He's at the Olentangy Caverns this morning. Hey, Cam. Yep, so we're reaching new depths underground down here. Now, Katie, we see a waterfall over here yep. where water forms. You're telling me there's a possibility more and more could have gone down there? Yep, we think there might actually be a lake, or at least there once was a lake, a couple hundred feet underground, and possibly even transparent fish because they would never see the sunlight. No way. Yeah. That is really neat. And then you come over here and reach one of the highest, I should say, ceilings or tops up here. How do you know that there were fires down here? So if you look up in the ceiling, there are some black marks. Um, that's called creosote. So we believe that uh, those are the remnants of some fires that would have been in this area called Cathedral Hall. Wow. So Cathedral Hall in here. So people came down here. I should say the Indians would most likely come Absolutely. down here, build fires, hang out, and you said, you know, to stay away from their enemies, mm -hmm. to kind of gain shelter. Yep. That's great. Now you look over here and you see like this shiny, I, I hate to use this word, but it almost looks like snot. <laughs> and how does it get like that? So the minerals from the water dripping down on rainy days like today, um, it collects over time. We think there have been probably 50 million years worth of right. these mineral collections. And then there's also fossils that have um, that were created many years ago in the walls. I love the variance in the texture because yes. you have shiny, you have rough, and you make your way this way and you get a really cool shot looking up there. And it's so hard to believe. How far underground are we right now? We're 105 feet underground. 105 feet. So we went down some steps. That's about, what, 50 feet up there? Yes. I'm amazed at how the ground doesn't fall above and how it just holds up there. It, yep, it's, um, it's pretty amazing. We're right underneath the driveway, actually. No way. That's <laughs> awesome. So this big rock right here, you guys have a special name for it. Yes, and we And we're going on the other side. What is this guy? The Rock of Many Names because so many people have hit their head and given it a, na a naughty name. Oh, a bad name. That's yeah. Hilarious. Okay, so coming up next, what area are we going to see? Is that the one with the table? Yes, okay. we're going to be in council chamber room. Ooh, the council chamber room is coming up next. More exploring to do. We'll see you soon. Come on, Katie. It's Friday. <laughs> Why not go out there and explore? Cameron Fontana's been all morning long in Delaware checking out the Olentangy Indian Caverns. You know, these things have an incredible history. Uh -huh. But Cam, has anybody used these caves other than Native Americans? Ooh, so Katie, Marshall just asked, is there anybody else besides the Native Americans that use these caves? Well, actually, there was a stagecoach robber who used to rob stagecoaches on 315, which is about a quarter of a mile away, and then he would come down here and hide. No way, so this was his secret hideout? Yes, it was. Oh my gosh, yes. and I'm sure he came down here like, this is the perfect spot. You have all these nooks and crannies that you can hide in between. Yep, he could, he could run away and hide down here, and then actually, a couple years later, we also had a guy who was traveling through to Missouri uh -huh. with his ox, and his ox fell in. Um, and he had to come, come down and try to get his ox back out. So this area was actually considered a nuisance and it was filled in in the 1800s. 
And then in 1934, a teacher decided to excavate it and then opened it up for tours. Wow, so cool to hear the history about this place. Now, this room has another significance. We mentioned before when we teased it, this is the council chamber room? Yes, the council chamber room, and this is the council table. Um, we believe that there might have been some ceremonies that occurred in here oh. um, because we also see some more creosote. Um, and you can imagine ceiling. the Indians that would come around here. Absolutely. And meet, you know, I'm sure fire, like you said, yep. from up top. And we got some more of the snot over here. More the flow stone. Oh, wait, flow stone. Look at that. That, that. I'm sorry, that's not the scientific term. But no, it's not. I love just what the water does to the caverns here. And when you look, if you're just joining us, something that's really cool is when the water drips over time. And let's come over here, Katie. Uh -huh. um, what is it called again that you call these little straws? I'm trying to find one here. Yep, these little stalactites are called soda straws. And they're okay. the ones that they form about an inch every 50 years from the minerals that are deposited by the water. Wow, there's an example of one right there. So if I were to touch it. Don't touch it. We could. Don't touch we, it. We, You're we, ruining 40 years. 40 years of work right there. <laughs> that's awesome. Like that's so 40 years in the making, you don't want to touch it. But that is so neat. So when you come down here, how long does it take to get through all of it? Um, a tour usually lasts about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay. Right now we're doing self-guided tours. And the little so buttons. We saw the speakers yep, everywhere. Yep, there's buttons you press and the speakers play the tour. You can spend as much time as you like right now. Do you see a lot of kids playing like hide and go seek down here and yes. just going around? There are lots of fun games that you can play down here. And I will say, you know, we came here, it's raining this morning, but I think it adds such a cool element because it is that rain that helps shape these and you get that sound of just being underground. Yeah, the sound is awesome. You hear the waterfalls. So the rain really makes it a cool place to be. And you can turn it into a weekend and a day because because not only can you tour the caverns, but coming up next, we're going to talk about they have a pet farm. You can uh, hunt for geodes, yep. and you have a gift shop too, right? Yep, gem mining geodes. We have a petting zoo with deer, goats, zebu cows. It's pretty fun. All right, so let's head above ground. It's kind of been like vampires right. and bats. Uh oh, he said bats. That's scary. Well, he is actually out at the Olentangy Indian Trails right now in the caverns. Cameron, what have you found now? Yep, as you can see, guys, we made it above ground from the caverns, and it's raining right now, but we want to let you know about some other things that you can enjoy here. Katie, you have something pretty cool you're holding in your hands. Yes, this is for gem mining. So you get a bag of your mining rock, okay. and you have a pan, and you can actually be mining for gold. And this no awesome sluice over here, so water runs down it, you put your mining dirt in there, you shake it around, and you get to keep whatever you find. There's gemstones, fossils, arrowheads, emeralds. It is really fun. I love it because that was one of my favorite subjects. I think for many people in school learning about the gold rush and yep. the Oregon Trail. So you can really do that here. Yep. You and can you find have animals too, right? We have animals too. Um, we have deer. We have zebu cows. We have hilarious and ornery goats. <laughs> Another animal we have right inside over here we do want to showcase is Rocky being held by your husband, Cody. Rocky's first day on the job? Rocky's first day on the job. He's going to be protecting Aww. the petting zoo. He looks like he's just enjoying this. It's yeah. rainy outside. He's yeah. getting comfy. He's, he's getting, getting cozy. He's going to Netflix and chill here pretty soon. <laughs> so when can people come out? Tomorrow's opening day for the season. Season, yep. And where are you located? We are at 1779 Home Road, which is right outside of Powell in southern Delaware County. Okay. We're open seven days a week from 9.30 to 6, and our self-guided tours start tomorrow. All right. Now, one thing we did mention, the geodes. Right here is your dad, Tim. You can actually see things, things cracked when you come out here? Yes. So you can buy these. These come from New Mexico. You can crack open a geode, and again, you get to keep whatever you find inside. Whoa. It is super exciting. So as that's cracking, fun. this is what it looks like when it comes out? Yep. How cool And we is never that? know what's inside. We really don't even know. Um, it's a it's, surprise. It's a surprise. It's always a surprise. It's a surprise in every rock. And what's the website that people can find all the information? Olentangyindiancaverns.com. You can find all the information, the rates and the hours, or you can like us on Facebook and stay updated with our posts. Whoa, look at Look this, at that. I like this. Oh, look how cool that looks. Oh, my gosh. So make sure you check it out. It's a great season to do this. I know it's raining today, but spring's here. And you know what? We're talking gems right now, and one of my favorite gems, it's her last day today. Courtney, I know I can't be there in the studio with you. We are going to miss you. I am going to miss you. Edwin is going to miss you so much. You have been such a diamond on our show, but we know this next adventure in your life is going to be awesome. So air hug, Courtney. I love you. I'm going to miss all your makeup selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Cameron, Air hug, thank you Air for making hug. me cry again. I love you too. And I'll take one more makeup selfie for you with everyone. Yes. Yeah.